Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tai. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be looking at the new MacBook Pro with the brand new M2 chip. And when I say that this is a new computer, it's not really new. It's the old design of the MacBook Pro, which came out in 2020 with the M1 chip. However, the internal chip has been upgraded to the M2 and pretty much everything about it is exactly the same. We have the same touch bar. We have the same screen. We have the same limited number of ports and we don't have any of the funky new designs of the MacBook Air with the M2 chip, which has MagSafe, it has a better screen and has a redesigned keyboard, etc really hard to tell from the outside that this contains the M2 chip. It even has the identical model number as the MacBook Pro with the M1 chip. The only clue that I can see is the fact that it has a 10 core GPU, whereas the MacBook Pro 2020 only has an 8 core GPU. So today we're going to be doing a quick unboxing. We're also going to be doing some very basic game benchmarking tests and also comparing against the original M1 chip and seeing how much faster the M2 is, especially with gaming performance too. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming news. So this unboxing is pretty much going to be identical to the 2020 M1 MacBook Pro. One of the only noticeable differences is the fact that we're going to have a different power supply. The new M2 now comes with the 67 watt power supply, whereas the old M1 MacBook Pro only had a 61 watt power supply. And this is going to give us marginally faster charging. Pretty much the rest of it is identical to the original M1 Pro, including the 720p webcam, the display, the touch bar as well. Everything is pretty much the same as before. And in reality, the only reason that we're interested in this particular MacBook is the fact that it has the M2 chip and it's an opportunity for us to do some benchmarking and getting a glimpse and seeing what the future of Apple Silicon Macs are going to be like. And today we're going to be doing some benchmarking. We're going to be comparing against the original M1 chip and seeing how much faster the gaming performance is. So this isn't going to be a like for like comparison and that's because the MacBook Pro has active cooling and so it's going to run a little bit cooler under sustained loads. However, this is going to give us a good idea of the relative power difference between the original M1 and the M2 chip as well. So the first thing we want to look at is the Geekbench 5 CPU benchmark. So you can see on the right we have the M2 chip and we have a multi-core score of 8906 and this is around 4.4% faster than the original M1. But what's most interesting is that we have a substantially increased single core score of 1895 and this is around 10% faster than the original M1 chip and this is going to be great for single threaded games. Next up we're looking at Grand Theft Auto 5. So this is a Windows game running through the compatibility layer called Crossover. If you want to find out how to do this then please check out the link in the description. Here we can see that the M2 is performing substantially faster than the M1. It's all the way between 40 to 55% faster. And this definitely exceeds Apple's original marketing, which showed a 39% increase over the original M1 chip. So GTA 5 definitely works really well and there's a substantial increase over the original M1. So next up we have the Shadow of the Tomb Raider benchmark. So on the right with the M2, we're getting a substantially increased frame rate. We're running this at 1080p on the high graphics settings. And when you're looking at a frame rate increase from around say 21 FPS to 31 FPS, it looks like the M2 is outperforming the M1 by around 40 to 45%. So this isn't exactly smooth 60 FPS gameplay. However, if you turn down the settings enough, then we're gonna get a very playable experience. Here, the benchmark results show that the average frame rate increases from 23 FPS to 33 FPS on the M2, which represents an improvement of 43%. So that's all the benchmarking that I've had time to do so far. And it definitely looks like the M2 has exceeded Apple's initial promises and their marketing as well. Once I've had more time with the machine, I'm going to be doing more extensive gaming benchmarks. For example, AAA titles like Metro Exodus, which run great on the Apple Silicon Mac and run even better on the M2 chip. I'm also going to be doing further testing on single core performance improvements, as well as testing other things like Minecraft and Game Emulators 2. If you have any requests, then please make sure to leave a comment. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.